that I am um, hoping to drop off somewhere. I'll probably go to one of those spots. Lots of blue sky day after Mardi Gras, Ash Wednesday, Valentine's Day. Pretty active week here in New Orleans. A lot of stuff happening. Temperatures in the 60s. Beautiful weather at the middle of this week. And then we do have some changes coming in the next few days. I'll talk about that in a second, but our winds not too strong up to about 10 miles per hour. We actually have mostly kind of quietish weather across certainly the southeast. We have high pressure building here and then across the rest of the US, a few spots with some um, kind of more interesting weather, including much colder weather out to the north, the northern fringe of the US and especially over to the west. Temperatures much chillier in the 40s or even 20s over in uh, Montana. Today, temperatures for us topping out middle 60s, most Mostly sunny, almost a perfect day. So really pleasant for walks outside. Anything happening tonight? If you're heading to Ash Wednesday services, doing something for Valentine's Day, whatever you got going on, looking really pleasant. 6 and 7 p.m. will be back in the upper 50s. And later tonight, if you're out toward 10, our temperatures will be in the middle 50s. At that point, maybe close to 50, though, north of the lake. And our overnight lows tonight won't be quite as cold, but still pretty chilly. North of the lake, about 44. South, about 50. And we'll have some increase in clouds, so that's part of why we will not be quite as cold. These are your overnight temperatures for early tomorrow. Again, 40s to about 50 degrees. Let's move into precision cast. This is today. Everything looking fine, but here are those increasing clouds tonight. Not really doing anything as far as disrupting our weather or bringing rain just yet. This is tomorrow, Thursday. Still quiet, but you can see the increased clouds. Probably breaks of sun and some peaks of sun here and there on your Thursday afternoon. And then we'll move into Friday. Friday in the first part of the day looks pretty quiet. This is by lunchtime. Couple showers possible. But our rain chance will likely be going up. This model even has it in the afternoon, 3, 4 p.m., already seeing some showers as our next front starts to move in. Some models have it much later, maybe more Friday night. We'll see, but there's at least a chance for some light rain in the evening and maybe even afternoon Friday. This takes us into Friday night again, 7, 8 p.m. If you do have Friday night plans, we might have some rain in the area, so just a heads up. Doesn't look super heavy, but again, you might want umbrellas or rain gear just in case. And then this is early Saturday morning. This model has most of the rain gone, but a couple of other models do have the rain lingering on Saturday, about a 50% or so chance. So to sum up for the rain, we're talking about Friday and Saturday. Rain should be gone by Saturday night and Sunday, I think. How much? Our models are showing maybe a half inch, probably less, and severe storms at this point not expected. Our rainfall forecasts are showing, as you can see, maybe a quarter inch or so. So this probably won't be a very significant rain event, but we may have just enough to, again, just bring a few showers. And maybe uh, if you're out and about, you'll have to deal with just a little bit of that light rain, mainly Friday night and maybe into Saturday as well. Moving into Sunday, though, look at this. We're getting some kind of cold uh, temperatures north of the lake back in the 37 degree range. That could be with some frost. However, we will still have a breezy feel Saturday and Sunday as that colder air moves in. So we may not see frost able to settle just yet, but I think Monday morning would be a more likely day for frost potential north of Lake Pontchartrain. Not south, though. Our lows just expected in the 40s for those cold mornings. Also wanted to point out Saturday we get the front moving in. It looks like early in the day, so through Saturday we might continue with a chance for a couple of light showers and then also it'll be chilly and breezy. So in the 50s with temperatures dropping through the evening and into the night especially. So a kind of chilly feel back for sure this weekend, but Sunday the sun comes back and Monday and Tuesday we're warming up pretty fast for early next week.